former football player. He has MS. His mm. current concern, though, is gout. Okay. Gout. So um, got to clean up the kidneys. I mean, we want to reduce some of the spasms as well. Um, so any of the oils uh, for, for reducing the tension in the body, including oils that are like fascially oriented. So things like any of the different peppers, pepper supreme, viscosity, those are all good, but still using basil, pedigree, marjoram, and you can actually even rotate them around and just see which one kind of resonates with them a little bit. Um, that it's spasms due to neurological function. Um, basil tends to work a little bit better and the peppers seem to work a little bit better, but you know, uh, uh, people can be a little bit different in this this arena when you're you're dealing with something like that and um the tendency is that um uh, uh like stress or stressors uh, can cause flare-ups with ms and so i mean i, I uh, try doing that as well but when you're starting to look at things like gout and things of that nature, you're wanting to clean up the, the joints themselves. You know, it's the, usually the big toe uh, or some of the toes, but sometimes they'll even get it in their thumbs. Um, and they can actually get it uh, even like in the, the lower spine and things like that. And so I, I usually do a couple of things with that. Um, I usually do the arthricare, um, on the affected joints um, that helps break up the deposits in the joints and things like that. Um, and then I follow it up with um, using something like, um, like lovage, like lovage leaf or lovage root. Um, you could use, you could use celery or parsley. I, I usually go to lovage because it's a little bit stronger and it helps to improve the function of the kidneys. And I mean, that's what's happening is there's the crystalline deposits are hitting the joints and they have like these little barbs on them. And so it can be quite painful. And so um, if there's inflammation in the joint, you know, use something that's anti-inflammatory like the dark blue oils, like blue healer, um, uh, pain relief and the inflammatory pain relief, um, you know, something of that nature, or even just some German chamomile or yarrow on the site to calm it down. But a little bit of lovage taken internally helps to flush things out and improve kidney function. And then um, I usually give them a little bit of galbanum and a little bit of um, black cumin internally. The black cumin reducing the inflammation and the, the galbanum just reducing some of the, the pain. Um, I mean, there's times where gout can be very, very debilitating. And so um, when, when it uh, cal calms down, I, I actually like to use, um, um, what is it, Green, Greenland moss. Um, not so much when they're in a crisis, but like more for prevention because the Greenland moss impacts the, the liver quite substantially, but you know, it also inf impacts the kidneys quite a bit and improves function in both those areas. And, um, you know, the liver being how they process food and things like that, and then still just continuing to cl clean out and clear out the kidneys. Um, uh, that can be a little bit of a long-term approach. And um, I don't know if we ever got the, there's a liver blend that we make. I don't know if we posted it on the site, but it's basically, it's just real simple blend. It's, it's um, Greenland moss, helichrysum, and um, carrot seed. And um, good for lymphatic function, but it's good for cleaning up the liver and uh, has has a little bit of an impact on pain as well, but more about cleaning up liver function. But first, you want to focus on the kidneys and just okay. you know, clean up the kidneys for a while. And so, when you get to the part with Greenland moss, is that internal? Yeah, it, yeah, that would have to be all internal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but I mean, like treatment, I would say that's like two months down the line. That's like something to be working towards, not okay. something right now. Right right now, reduce the inflammation in the joints, clean up the kidneys, put the arthritis care on, um, 
but give them the lovage internally. If they don't want to take an internal, several drops of lovage on their wrist at night. Um, it's not quite as strong, but it will still work. Um, and basically you're doing it for the diuretic effect. You know, basically you're trying to flush out some of the crystalline, you know, the uric acid and things that are deposited in the joint. Uh, you're just helping them to like pee it out. And again, another one, make sure they're drinking plenty of water. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Thank you.